Here are 14 types of molds you can find in the woods, in your house, or even on your plate. They look weird and cool at the same time. Altenaria solani is one of the molds in our kitchen that love the same things as we humans do. Bread is one of its favorites, and so are veggies, like tomatoes. The more moisture the food has, the better it is for this kind of mold. That's why soft food is risky to eat when you come across some mold on it. The mold's roots can go down really deep. Here's a long lost cheese. It turns my stomach upside down, but I can't stop looking at it. This person forgot the ricotta in the refrigerator. Look at that vivid violet. It's not wolf hair, just another type of mold. As one Redditor thinks, this plantish, foodish thing was a mashed potato once. What if it wasn't a mashed potato, but a bell pepper? You can cut the mold from the hard or dry products by around at least one inch and eat the rest safely. You can compost the moldy part you sliced off. Yet, you should throw it away if the food is totally covered by mold. That ship sailed, Captain. Nope, that's not the face of an adorable seal. It's mold. Is there any other no-no foods besides bakery products and soft food if it has mold? Yep, cooked goods and dairy products like yogurt or cream. Oh, and farewell to meats like bacon and hot dogs. Last but not least, the mold you see in jams or jellies could produce a microtoxin, which is a toxic organism that can cause various health conditions. So resist the temptation to scoop the mold and eat the rest. Bye-bye to the homemade red currant jam jar. Finally, products like peanut butter, legumes, and nuts are in the risk group if they're made without preservatives. At first glance, Cribraria aurantiaca looks like pom-poms or flowers, but no, it's a slime mold. Do you think we can learn something from slime molds? Researchers say yes. They designed an experiment by placing oat flakes on a large plastic dish. The design represented the cities surrounding Tokyo and its train network. They put the single-celled organism in the maze. Once the mold started scattering food sources, it moved in a pattern that's nearly identical to Tokyo's actual railway network. It did it in a self-organized, efficient, and reliable way, like a computer. So these creatures could be useful for constructing cost-efficient networks in the real world. Comatrica is the next one on our list. Yeah, it looks like a hairbrush. Molds can do so much more than look interesting. Have you ever heard of the stories about the mummy's curse? Legend says that after Pharaoh Tutankhamun's chamber was discovered in 1922 in Egypt, Lord Carnarvon was one of the first people who stepped inside. He didn't live long after. People believed that it was supernatural forces who took him down, or it was the ancient mold that infected him. It's time to debunk this myth. These stories are proven to be fabricated. Yes, he was among the team to enter the chamber, but none of the other 25 people with him got affected by the alleged ancient mold. Comatrica nigra resembles a dandelion. With that translucent appearance, it looks like something from another planet. The next one is Badamia utricularis. What do you think it looks like? To me, it's an upside down buckthorn. The nickname is well deserved. Meet the mold pig, officially Sialomorpha dominicana. This is a microscopic ancient being. It's as thin as human hair. It's a new species in terms of being an invertebrate, which is an animal without backbones. This odd creature, most of the time, eats mold. Should we check some unusual home kinds of molds? Rhizopus stolonifer, aka black bread mold, looks so fluffy, but uh, still, I wouldn't want to see that in my home. What about the friendly food that's moldy on purpose? Penicillium roccoforti is the blue cheese mold. Cheesemakers use safe mold strains. Unique flavors and textures of cheese, such as Camembert and Stilton, come from there. If the mold grows in fresh or grated cheese, it will result in spoilage. If cheese is manufactured with mold but ends up having another type of mold, that's also not good. Penicillium is a mold genus that has hundreds of different species. Maybe it sounds familiar, not just because of the yummy cheeses, but because it's a game changer in history. I'm referring to the antibiotic penicillin. It's among the pioneer medications to be effective in curing bacterial infections. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.